Well, first of all, I love it here. I love the George Street Theater and I love David Saint. He's great to work with and to work for. He's very collaborative. But I love this play because it's really basically about love. You know, it's what will you do for love and how do you repair love and how do you braid the love of your family into one, you know, composite thing. Well, she's a fixer for sure. She wants everything to work out all right for everyone. She wants to take care of everybody and she does and she uh, is resourceful. I love women who are resourceful, you know, who aren't, who aren't frightened to you know, get out there and, and make something happen. And Alice is definitely somebody who makes things happen in her life and, and when she sees a problem, she wants to solve it. It isn't, you know, some people see a problem and they say, well, you know, they really fouled up. My dad used to say there are two kinds of people in the world, those who stop at a traffic accident to see if they can help and those who just drive by. Alice would stop and help. I like to invent things, and I love doing the books. I have my seventh book coming out this April 8th that I'm excited about, and it's based on a print series that I'm doing online um, called It Ain't Over Till It's Over, which again is about, you know, dreaming again. A lot of women uh, had a dream that kind of ran out on them. You know, you wanted a family, and but pretty soon there's a time with your family gets to be, at, the kids get to be about 15 and your husband's life hasn't changed and if you've been a stay-at-home mom, your life has changed. So what's your next dream? I really want to speak to that woman and help her figure out that it's, it's not over till it's over. If you're 45 years old, you could live another 45 years, you know, so it's time to find another dream. It's very exciting to uh, go to St. Jude and see these children who would have had a death sentence without us. I mean, it's, there isn't anything in my life that's that exciting. To see a little kid come to St. Jude, terrify their eyes are that big, their parents' eyes are that big, and they're sick and they're pale and they may not make it, and then a year later, they're running down the hall. I mean, it's like, wow. I mean, talk about a high. You can't get any higher than that. I just think of myself as someone who's very curious and thinks, oh, that, I could do that. That would be fun to do.